What's up, everybody? Welcome to Fighters Only TV. I'm Gary Alexander here with Jake Ellenberger. Jake, uh, you are about to headline a fight against Diego Sanchez in a blistering cold Nebraska. Right now, we're in Southern California where it's pretty warm. Uh, how's training going? It's going great, man. It's never been better. Uh, you know, constantly just adapting and evolving as a fighter. So I'm um, excited. It's going to be the, the best performance of my career. One of the things that we talked about previously to this was that uh, you felt like th th this was a great matchup for you. Diego Sanchez seems like a bad matchup for anybody. What makes you feel that way? You know, he, he he's, uh, from what I've seen of him, I've watched quite a bit of his fights. He he's, seems like he moves forward and he's somewhat predictable. But at the same time, you know, he's tough and, and he's going to be hard to beat. But, uh, you know... He, we have a similar pace, you know. We're both gonna we're both gonna move forward, and uh, you know I, I have a lot more confidence in my striking, and and I feel like I have the advantage in, in a lot of areas. Yeah, I, talk about the pace a little bit. Diego Sanchez brings just a hell of a pace. Somebody who mm -hmm. I think more than other than Clay Guida, one of one of the biggest faults that that, uh, that an opponent has against Diego Sanchez is looking past his cardio. Mm -hmm. Well, you know I think what's where a lot of his opponents have uh, you know have failed is they kind of give him too much respect you know if you, if you let him dictate the the pace and the, and the the pace of the fight and the range you know you're going to be in for a long night which you know if he wants to go that that break that breakneck stupid guy pace like i can do that too but i mean I, I plan on hurting him you know on my feet i know i can hurt him and you know if, if he wants to come at kind of bully rush like he usually does you know what i mean i think uh you know i think he's going to be he, he's going to get hurt so you know I, i'm really prepared where anywhere the fight goes have you changed anything for this camp, or have you kept anything pretty much streamlined uh, over the last few fights? You've looked amazing. It, have you kept things pretty pretty much the same? Yeah, you know, basically, uh, like I said, each fight I keep uh, I keep growing, I keep moving forward. Um, Rafael Cordero has been uh, a tremendous help for me. Um, just striking, my, you know, I, I think in the last six months, you know, I've really developed a, a passion for Muay Thai, and, and my striking game has, has, has improved greatly. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to to showcasing this fight, you know, and really making it a, you know, in my eyes, it's, you know, it's going to be a 15 minute, uh, full blown assault on my part. Well, I look forward to it. It's going to be a great fight. Jake Ellenberger, Diego Sanchez live on fuel TV. It's a great thing. Your family's got to be stoked that you come in Nebraska. Yeah, definitely. You know, anytime, I mean, it's, it's an honor to headline the, any UFC event and especially, you know, in the Midwest and, and represent the Midwest is going to be, uh, it's going to be huge. So family, friends will be there. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> Best of luck to you, Jake Ellenberger, Diego Sanchez on Fuel TV. Thanks.